All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Tom coming back with another video. And so the Michigan State Spartans get blown out at home, 41-7. Uh, uh, the Washington Huskies destroyed the uh, Michigan State Spartans. So in the second half, Noah Kim only had one completion. He was 11 of 15 at halftime. He finished this game 12 of 31 for 136 yards, no touchdowns, one interception, uh, a 69.1 QBR. Uh, he was averaging 4.4 yards per play. Uh, and Caton Hauser went 2 of 4 for 72 yards. He was averaging 18 yards per play, a 201.2 average, no touchdowns, no interceptions. And he ran in a touchdown. So, 41-7, the Washington Huskies get the win. The Michigan State Spartans fall to 2-1 as the Washington Huskies improve to 3-0. and So, congratulations to the Washington Huskies and their fans. You know, they have Ronald Penix Jr. Or not Ronald, I'm sorry, Michael Penix Jr. Uh, as their QB. Uh, he was a uh, pain in our butt. Uh, when he played for Indiana. Uh, so, rushing, Nate Carter had 17 carries for 48 yards. He was averaging 2.8 yards per rush. Not good. Uh, Simmons had four carries, 11 yards, averaging 2.8. Uh, Caden Hauser had one carry for four yards. He was averaging four yards per carry. Brown had one one carry for minus one yard and Noah Kim had four carries for minus nine yards. Receiving Fitzpatrick had one reception for 61 yards. Foster had two receptions 50 yards. Malik Carr three receptions 30 yards. Uh, Trey Mosley three receptions 21 yards. Glover two receptions 17 yards. Henry one reception 16 yards. Hopper one reception 11 yards and Nathan Carter uh, one carry or one reception, two yards. Uh, defense Mangum had uh, eight tackles, uh, four solo, uh, had an interception. Uh, Holiday uh, seven tackles, uh, two solo. Spencer had seven tackles, two solo. Tatum six tackles, four solo. Brantley four tackles, two solo. Uh, Wright, four tackles, one solo. Lowry, three tackles, two solo. Majid, three tackles, two solo. Butler, three tackles, one solo. Hall, three tackles, one solo. Hanson, three tackles. Barrow, three tackles. White, two tackles, two solo. Uh, and uh, Boule, two tackles, one solo. Windman. Two tackles, one solo. Gross, two tackles, one solo. Young, two tackles, one solo. C. Brown, uh, two tackles, one solo. Snow, two tackles. Harmon, two tackles. Dunn, one tackle, one solo. Rucker, one tackle, one solo. Nelson, one tackle. Milliken, one tackle. And uh, kick returns. Henry had three returns for 49 yards. He was averaging 16.3 yards per return. And punt returns. Henry had one return for one yard. He was averaging one yard per return. Uh, Kim, the kicker, was one for one in extra points. And uh, punting. O'Shaughnessy had uh, was averaging 45.2 yards a punt as long as it was 50. And Eckley, uh, 38.5 yards per punt and his longest was 52 and Michael Penix Jr. Uh, went 27 of 35 for 473 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions, had a QBR of 228.4 and then Morris went 2 of 4 for 63 yards, no touchdowns and an interception, had a 1.3 or had a 132.3 uh, QBR. So. Uh, Ronald Penix Jr. Almost, or, I'm sorry, I don't know where I'm getting this Ronald Penix Jr. Michael Penix Jr. Uh, 
had almost 500 yards passing uh, against the Michigan State Spartans. So I don't know what, if it was they were prepared because of everything that was happening with Mel Tucker and everything they went through this week, the adversity. Uh, but they have to fix it uh, and get ready for Maryland. Michael Penix Jr. made a mockery out of our defense. Uh, the whole Washington team did. Uh, I knew this was going to be a tough game, but I didn't expect uh, the Spartans to get blown out. 41-7, uh, the Washington Huskies. Um, so they're probably going to move from number 8. Uh, they're probably going to move up a couple spots, uh, I would imagine. Uh, so... Like I said, congratulations to the Washington Huskies and their fans. Uh, it was a great day for them. 41-7, tough day for the Michigan State Spartans. It just seemed like Harlan Barnett didn't have them mentally prepared. They didn't seem like they were prepared. They didn't seem like they were interested in playing football at all. Uh, and Noah Kim just, just couldn't do anything. He was overthrowing and underthrowing his receivers, um, and badly. Uh, and he only had 136 yards passing, uh, so they only had uh, 100, uh, 208 yards passing between the two quarterbacks. So uh, they got to fix this. Uh, Harlan, I understand it was Harlan Barnett only had uh, a few days to prepare uh, and get ready. They knew last Sunday. Uh, that Mel Tucker was going to be suspended. So we got to give Harlan Barnett the benefit of the doubt. But they got to come out and play much better against Maryland. They got to come out and beat Maryland. Uh, this is a homecoming game for the Michigan State Spartans. So I want to see a much better game out of Noah Kim. And I want to see a much better game out of the offense and the defense in general. Allowing 473 passing yards is unacceptable four touchdowns. That's crazy. But uh, stay tuned for my Las Vegas Raiders at Buffalo Bills week two preview. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Uh, I will be doing a Maryland Terrapins at Michigan State Spartans uh, week four preview. Uh, that game is next Saturday. Um, so, but like I said, stay tuned for my uh, Las Vegas Raiders at Buffalo Bills week two preview. And uh, I'll probably, if, you know, uh, I'm able to, I'll do a halftime show for that. If not, I'll do a recap for that most definitely. But uh, like I said, comment, like, subscribe. Go Bills. They also have to rebound. They can't fall to 0-2. Uh, they're playing the undefeated Raiders <laughs> uh, with Jimmy Garoppolo as their QB. So, and like I said, stay tuned also for my Maryland Terrapins at Michigan State Spartans week four preview. Go Spartans. Beat the Terrapins. Go Bills. Beat the Raiders. Stay tuned for my Las Vegas Raiders at Buffalo Bills preview.